Okay, folks, uh, this is our next step. I'm going to hit save. And let's take a quick little listen to the audio here on this because this really just sounds bad. It's going to be me talking, right? Uh, I turned this audio down a good bit a while ago. I'm going to turn it back up just so you can hear a little bit of it. We we'll get play. A little uh, camera or handle. Okay, so you're hearing a few bugs and stuff. You might hear me grunt or something. I don't know. Hopefully, I won't do anything embarrassing. There we go. Now we're hearing a lot of sound. Okay, well, this is the, yeah, wind sound. So this is probably not the audio we want to use. You can use your audio here if you want to, if it's usable. Uh, I'm thinking I don't want to really use any of this audio. Now, how can I mute this? Well, you click this M button and it mutes it. It mutes this whole track. Now we won't hear anything if I hit play. You're hearing nothing now. But let's say, okay, Tony, I'd like to have something on here. I'd like to, maybe I'll do a voiceover. Well, you can record a voiceover with a separate mic. A lot of times I'll do voiceovers for my videos. I'll edit the video the way I want. Then I'll pull back to the end and I'll, I'll, I'll get a little Zoom H2 mic, which is what I'm, that's exactly what I'm recording on right now is a Zoom H2 on a little stand in front of my computer. And so I'll, I might do a commentary and my commentary might be something like this. Hey folks, I'm walking down through Charlotte and this is a street where there are some apartments. Now we're going to go over to a beautiful rose that's in my front yard. And then why not take a quick look over at the Rose of Sharon bush that's outside my guest bedroom window. It's beautiful in the middle of summer. And then here, you know what? Here we are back in Charlotte riding down the road. Okay, so there folks, I just recorded a voiceover that I can later import and bring in here. Now, the voiceover will be a wave file, won't it? Just a wave just like uh, one of these, well, these aren't really waves, these are MP3s, but these music files that we brought in a while ago, they could be waves as well. So this is music that we imported in an earlier video. I'm going to go to this pastoral. I have no idea what this sounds like. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to preview. Let's see what this sounds like a little bit. Boy, isn't that dramatic sounding? Let's go ahead and pull this audio down here on this. This is, this is your audio file. It's an A1. It's for audio for the first track. So you only got one track of video here now, and you got video one here. So we got one, you know, one track of video V1, A1. Well, we're going to pull some other video down, maybe overlay it over some of this in a minute. But let's go ahead and pull this audio down and, and make it a music bed underneath this. How do you do it? Well, you can either click in here like we did earlier. I think you can. No, apparently you can't. Thought, thought you could in the old version. You have to actually go to the little audio wave here. This is video, but there's no video on this. It's just an audio file, and then here's the audio. So we're going to pull it down, and now we've got our audio. Now look, it goes way longer than the whole piece of work that we've got here, right? A couple ways we can fix this. We can go over here to the end of it, and we can pull it back, right? And I just went over here to the very end of it and gave me this little red thing, which is a drag tool, and I can pull it. I can just left-click on it and pull it. And now the audio will end there, right? Let's see. Okay, and it ends very abruptly. We'll show you how to maybe work with that. So let's say, okay, I, so I have this audio. I want to pull down a little bit here. And now I can see the wave. If you pull down just a little, it allows you to see this wave. Matter of fact, this wave here, you can also see the audio where I'm talking and stuff here. All you do is grab the, just grab the little line right here between. If you just hover over it, you'll see it'll give you a little pull up and down type thing. So you can hide that or you can look at it at any time you need to. I've got this track muted and this one's playing. And it's playing very softly, isn't it? Let's click on it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to adjust the gain a little bit. Let's say I want this to be a little louder. So I'm going to set the gain to, let's say, let's set it five decibels louder. Now we just saw, if you, I don't know if you noticed or not, but that made that a little fatter. I'm going to do a control Z. Control Z is undo. And see how it's, see how it is? Control Z again. Ah, undo that. Oh my gosh. Uh, that brings up, I just did some snafus there, folks. I messed up. Let's show you a different way to trim this too. Let's go here to the end. And I can hit the C key. The C key means to cut. And the C key turns your little pointer into a razor. Now I'm going to hit the V key again. And the V key turns you back into a pointer. I'm going to click on this and get rid of it. I just hit delete. I can pull this back over to get this back. But now, once again, I want this to be a little louder. We've got an audio game. Let's say 7 decibels a little louder. Now we've got some nice fat wave where we can listen to this music. Here we go.
Okay, if you're saying if you're saying to yourself, Tony, that looks kind of herky jerky. Well, that's because it's having to render on the fly. Your final render will be very smooth and beautiful. You see this red over here? This red tells tells us that this video has to be rendered out. It's not been pre-rendered yet. What that means is all these effects that I've added to it, uh, you know, the color adjustments and things I've done need to be rendered out. If I get here, this usually yellow means it doesn't, and so you click on the yellow and it plays smoothly. So if you got yellow, that's just another little tip that you'll know that is there. So now we've pulled some audio in. Let's move over to, or let's uh, let's move on to the next step.